I know I spoke about this in my recent Zara haul, but honestly, these front bits in my hair right now literally look like a separate fringe. So basically, I'm like sprouting so much new hair. Um, I have been taking Viviscal professional hair supplements and they are insane. So around the front here where it looks like I've got an extra fringe, it's all this like new hair growth that's just like going crazy, um, which is good. I mean, at first I thought it was new broken hair, which... If you guys have followed my hair journey for a while, you'll understand how much that stressed me out at the thought of it. Um, but because it's all the same length, my hairdresser was like, no, it's all new hair. And I was like, that's so exciting. So um, yeah, that's why it looks like I'm rocking multiple different fringes today. Anyway, um, so I am just waiting currently because I'm about to be picked up by GHD. I'm going to my first event, actual proper event in, oh God, I don't even know, like way over a year surely must be um so it's i'm really excited because i love this side of my job i love being able to go and like see other influencers and socialize and see people and it'd be great because i'm hoping that there'll be people there that i haven't seen in so long um so it'll be like a little mini reunion um it's to celebrate their new cordless ghd styler so we're heading to i think some sort of like manor house for lunch which sounds really lovely the weather's Typical English weather today. Sort of okay, sort of not. But um, I'm just, as I say, I'm just excited to go to an event. I mean, I had to do a lateral flow test last night, but I'm fine with that. Like, I'll do as many lateral flow tests as you need me to do as long as I can start going to events again. Um, but, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. So this is what I'm going to wear today. I've got on this little mesh top, which I cannot for the life of me think of the brand name while it's on me. But um, I'll find it link it below. It's from Revolve. It's really cute. It's like a really sort of, it's a mesh top, but it's kind of thick enough that I can wear it without worrying about my nipples kind of hanging out you know what I mean and then these shorts are from my misguided edit I love them we kind of designed them to be slightly like a line so they're like super comfortable to wear and they kind of go out the side so you don't get any of that uncomfortable car sitting in denim short situation which we all know too well and then my shoes are these little strappy sandals oh I'm falling over from nasty gal I think so I will link them below and then I'm going to put on my brand new SLA black oversized blazer over the top as you can see guys my uh, my extra fringe is really living its best life right now <laughs> honestly I was just saying earlier to my uh, channel that I've got this new sprouting fringe that's decided to come out um so we're styling on the motorway we're here we're um, using the new GHD unplugged which is an absolute dream for styling while standing up on the motorway. I mean, we wouldn't probably advise it, but <laughs> it can be done, and that's the main thing. Let's look at this. This is us all manifesting our next dream home. How, how many years do we reckon, guys? Like three? Three years and we'll be there? Tops, tops. Yeah, surely. If we manifest it, three maybe we can be there in two. You know what? I'll meet you there. <laughs> Oh my god, it looks so sassy. <laughs> yeah. Guys, look, no, no, we're reunited. No, in yeah. person. I'm in mean, reunion. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I heard it was just saying that it does feel like we've come to a high school reunion because it's been a, over a year. Over a year, which is just crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's only a year and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, we've got so much to catch up. I know, I know. Obviously, they have very Instagram cocktails, but. Jamie now I've decided it's just a whispering angel all the way, hey. Yeah. <laughs> got I was like, does she know what I'm talking about? I let's whispering let's angel. question. I whispering angel. <laughs> and you turn around. Really nice. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what That's you all you need. need. I know. Oh. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> Been sent on a bit of a scavenger hunt here. Mine says watch out for the thorns, which I'm assuming is a rose bush, which this is the, the most obvious looking thin, but it doesn't look that rose bushy. Um, so I'm not sure. Did you find your chickens? You found the chickens? Well, okay, I'm, I, I'm like, this is by roses, but it doesn't look rose bushy enough for it to be mine. No, I think you maybe, are you out there? I don't know. Possible right, come on, hunt. You, I'm not up for a scavenger hunt. You're just gonna have to show me. Yeah. I'm not one of those people that likes to cheat and just know where it is. <laughs> Somebody's in the moment, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Mine's got a tiny bit of writing on it. Yeah, that's it. But that bit's wrong, don't you think? Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, that's you. She's in. She's in. She's in. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's Woo! Great. Have a little look at the table setting before everyone sits down. It looks insane. Look at this. Oh my god, it's like a wedding. <laughs> this is just so great. 
so nice with the house behind it's very english garden party isn't it it's great you guys have nailed it <laughs> we're um really enjoying this this setup that they've got here i feel like i've had one glass of rosé though and it's really set me sent me slightly west <laughs> but... <laughs> i mean lightweight guys i haven't been to an event in over a year <laughs> Well, I had one, but then it spilled, so I only had half of it. Oh, we had a bottle. Yeah, yeah, of course you did. <laughs> Obviously, it's incredibly bougie. These are my, uh, this is my view. We've got Layla and Cece, slightly, slightly, slightly backlit, but we're just enjoying the fact that we're all together. So nice. We found the light. We found the light. Found the light. And I really noticed. That's cross I mean, we were laughing, saying that everyone is like, we haven't seen each other in years. We see each like, yes, all these fucking. Yeah, we've got a few here and there. Keep us apart. I'm actually really sad that we're not um, staying for longer. Today. I know they keep trying to get rid of us, and we're like, should we just stay and have another drink next to um? Yeah, who are they? Yeah. Yeah. Harold and Pippard. Pippard are mates. You can't really tell. We may have had a drink. <laughs> Magical, so um, we've decided that we're not like a living game. Look, we're never leaving. Um, we're gonna stay. We're gonna got, stay. Should we hide in one of the rooms yeah, and then not leave? Let's yes. play hide and seek. <laughs> this is actually, yeah, you want to get in that restroom and not rest? And Jamie's idea, and uh, oh, I really appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> Do you want to get in that restroom and not rest? Oh my god, it's like the end of the world. But he's like an air marshal. Oh, anyways, um, so we've just decided <laughs> slap on the thigh as that well. we're um, saying. Yeah, I mean, it's sunny. Yeah, I'm not it's sunny. Right? It's a Tuesday, which is my favourite day of the week. Poor person. Have you heard it here, guys? It's her favourite day of the week. Yeah. <laughs> Layla's like, I'm having a child, guys. Yeah, as sober as anything. I, I can't do it with your I know, I'm I feel like a mum, like babysitting everyone. Like, everyone, how many have you had of those? <laughs> Sony, my second. I got them down oh. in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly though, we were laughing saying that this is actually what happened when you keep us all from each other for like... It's true, for like two years. I mean, I know it's not the brand's fault, but like... Yeah, it's not your fault, <laughs> GHC, it's, it's, however. It's just pandemic life, hey? Yeah, exactly. Now we just got to stay. And but we're back like we never left, guys. Exactly. Have you seen the forest <laughs> that we are surrounded by? Turn that camera oh, 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 right, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Oh my oh, god. These are our hidden flowers, so no one can see what we're doing. Hidden. It's like a barricade of flowers. <laughs> Secret garden. I really wanted to do this sooner, um, but I know it's been a little while since my misguided collection launched. So I thought I would just do a little try and haul, styling up some of my favourite pieces from the collection, and just show you guys because I haven't had a chance yet. My life is just—I know I've said this so many times, but I, I just feel like since it's launched, everything's been a little bit crazy here. So um, I'm finally getting a chance. So I'm sorry I haven't been able to get this done sooner, but um, I'm excited to show you guys some pieces. And I will just start with this jumper that I've got on here. So this is the super oversized sweatshirt from the collection. I am wearing this in a size large though, so it is oversized, but if you want it to be sort of my level of oversized, go up um, to like get the bigger sizes. I just love how it's just the perfect chuck on jumper for summer as i say i know i've said this in so many of my styling hauls but these jumpers are just so great to chuck on over denim shorts they're just a just a great thing for your wardrobe and i absolutely love the color of this one i'm hoping you guys will agree with me that this sort of like sort of a mixture between like a matcher and a mint but it's so nice and it's so soft obviously if you don't want to wear like i mean i've got some cycling shorts on underneath this just to put it on because this is my sort of go-to casual lay around the house sort of outfit so next up i'm so excited to show you guys the denim pieces from the collection i think that they are probably my favorite items in the whole collection i'm honestly obsessed with them so first up i have on the denim shorts which are the perfect fit i was super super anal about the fit of these because i just think denim shorts should be comfortable when you wear them i think we've kind of like all gotten too comfortable with the fact that denim shorts are like uncomfortable when you sit down in them or you know that sort of vibe they just don't need to be like that and i love a sort of a kind of more a-line fitting denim short i think they're a lot more flattering and they look a little bit more sort of like vintage style so i'm wearing these ones in a size 10 because i like them being like super super baggy at my waist i think that 
the kind of baggier they look, I think that kind of makes them a bit more of that vintage style. And the reason I say vintage style is because if you guys don't know, the whole inspiration behind the collection was basically like thrift shop finds. So hence why we've got like oversized sweatshirts that kind of like your vintage oversized sweatshirts. And then obviously sort of these kind of like baggy denim pieces that could be like your vintage Levi's or that sort of stuff that you'd find in a charity shop. So no, so I honestly love these shorts. So I actually did wear them out literally last night um, and I wore it like this. So I'll put in the picture that I posted on my Instagram so you guys can see how I styled it up. But I feel like this is becoming a real go-to outfit for me at the moment because my life is getting so busy. I love an easy outfit that I don't need to put too much thought into. And I think just like a denim, a good pair of denim shorts, a little sort of black top. And then actually I put obviously the zebra shoulder bag, but these little shoulder bags from Misguided, so this is the orange one. They're just so great. And they do these in so many different colors. And I think when you just sort of style it up like this, you can even get like a pair of orange heels, or I mean, I know they do these bags in so many different colors. So whatever color of the bag, you could get matching heels and that would make such a cute sort of easy outfit. But obviously it goes without saying, put on a pair of white trainers and it just looks equally as good. So one of the things I love about this collection is it's really easy to sort of like mix and match everything. It's sort of got like a summer capsule wardrobe feel to it because I'm gonna show you how different pieces can be styled up differently. So this little ribbed crop top is one of my favorite sort of styling pieces from the collection. Such a nice nude color. So as you can see, I've got the denim shorts on and then I'm just gonna put on over the top. So I'll show you two blazers over the top of this. So this is the orange one, which I love the color of this. It's so nice. So I'm wearing this one in a size 14, just so that it's super big. With this blazer, if you don't want a really oversized fit, you can just get your standard size because the blazer is designed to fit oversized anyway. But you know me, I'm just like, the bigger the better. I'm just honestly i'm just completely obsessed with things just being so huge how amazing is the color i think for summer it's so nice so this minty sort of matcha colored green blazer from the collection is also an absolute favorite of mine i'm wearing this one in a size 12 so i've only gone up one size really in this one from the size so i normally get my blazers in a size 10 and i'm wearing this in a size 12 so i've just gone up one size in this um and as you can see, the tones of this, so the nude and the green and the denim shorts, I just think, again, I mean, it's obviously super similar to the orange blazer vibe, but it's just a little bit more toned down if you're not feeling the bright orange, because I know bright orange isn't for everyone. So I will try on, um, after I've shown you this next outfit, um, I'll put on the trousers that match this blazer, because as a full suit, it is honestly such a dream. But I'm going to show you the denim jeans from the collection, because I think they're actually my favourite thing in the collection. So I'm gonna stand all the way back here so you can see the jeans in all their glory, but I'm hoping that you guys will be obsessed with these like I am. The fit is just so great. I'm wearing the tall length, so they do come, pretty much all the trousers and stuff in the collection are unavailable in tall and normal because obviously me being tall, I just really wanted the trouser length to fit tall girls because we all know, I've said it so many times, my struggle with trouser length. Um, so yeah, so I'm really, really, really pleased with how these jeans have turned out. They're also made from a really soft denim. So they feel, you know where, how like some denim jeans can be quite structured and not feel as comfortable to wear? These are honestly made of such a soft denim. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, with just the nude bralette, I think it actually makes a really really easy outfit especially if you just put on again like a little 90s shoulder bag so the vi my vintage fendi one i feel like the tones just work so well with this but i think when you've got like a really good fitting pair of jeans put it on with a white pair of trainers and you can put like a really simple top on maybe like a pair of sunglasses and it just makes such a cool outfit i would say that the jeans are sized quite generously um so they don't come up small which is good because I, I just hate when jeans are tight um so yeah so but i would say if you do want that slightly baggier like sort of waist then obviously go a size up but i think you'll be pretty happy if you just get them in your normal standard size so keeping along the whole capsule wardrobe sort of feel that i wanted to show you guys how you can style all these pieces up so this is the cropped blazer which is part of the blazer and skirt cohort but as you can see it works so well over the top of the little nude crop top and the denim jeans it wouldn't be right if the collection didn't have 
I mean, one blazer just wasn't going to be enough. We've got three and one obviously being cropped. But I really hope that you guys are kind of getting a feel for what I mean about the collection sort of working all together. Quickly, before I take the blazer off, this is what it looks like done up over jeans and that works equally as well. I love how when it's done up, I feel like it makes it look a little bit more structured as well. It gives kind of a bit more shape to it. While I'm standing here in a very dark room with grey clouds outside, let's look at the beachwear linen set. I mean, it's so fitting for the weather we've got today so this is the sort of nudie pinky linen-y one which I'm wearing underneath so as you can see that's the same nude bralette just put on a pair of sunglasses to sort of style it up a little bit and just show you guys what it kind of looks like with full beachwear vibes so I'm wearing the shirt in a size 12 so that it's a little bit bigger the shorts are just in a size 8 so if you want more of an oversized feel with the shirt I would definitely go up so obviously this is perfect for the beach you know with just sandals but you could dress this up in the evening and put on a pair of heels with it this is the sort of green color of this set which I love because it's sort of like a it's almost khaki, but it's not, um, and I just I just think it's such a great colour. So as you can see, I'm also wearing the green bralette. So this is, it actually matches a skirt, which I don't have here, because when, basically when we did the misguided shoot, obviously, as you guys know, I flew onto Mallorca afterwards, and I had a suitcase full of the misguided clothing, my suitcase full of my clothing for my trip, and then I had to leave that one there, and it's gone back to the office with the Komodo boys, and I just... <laughs> I don't know, my, my stuff is everywhere. But this does actually have a matching skirt, which is rather lovely. It's like a midi skirt, which you will see on the website. I wish I could show you it here today, but we'll just have to envision it. The thing that I'm surprised didn't make it at the front of this video is the pink oversized t-shirt dress in the collection. I mean, the colour of this just makes me happy. It's such a great chuck-on t-shirt for holiday. One thing I did really want in the collection was something like this because... I just think when I'm going to the beach, irrelevant of what I'm wearing to the beach, I'll always put something like this in my bag because they're just great to chuck on at any occasion, whether it's just like running to the loo or, you know, going to get drinks from the bar, like whatever it might be. And I just think this is it. It's perfect. It's just, I mean, it's super, super oversized. I'm wearing a medium large in this though. So that's why this one is like a lot bigger. Okay, so here we go. Green bralette with... The green trousers that match the blazer I had on earlier. Just going to tilt the camera down so you can see these. These trousers are an absolute dream. I'm honestly so in love with them. I think with the green bralette as well, it's just, I mean, I love tonal dressing. Where, like, you wear the same colour but in slightly different shades. I just think it looks so nice. So these, as I say, these are the tall length. So don't worry and if you're shorter than me and you're thinking they just look so long. Um, they do come in the standard leg length. So they're a very sort of like masculine style trouser, really wide leg. Um, and actually just like this they look so lovely. Because I mean no obviously for in the warmer days you might not necessarily want to put the blazer on. But I think with the green ribbed bralette they look so nice. So here it is as a three piece sort of suit set vibe. I honestly love it. I mean it's it's really really oversized. Joe said when, I don't know if you guys saw it in my vlog, but he said it reminded him of the suits that they wear in The Last Dance, which is that uh, Michael Jordan documentary. But I just love how it's super slouchy oversized. I just think it's such a good fit. So next, we've got to have a moment of appreciation for these little satin slip dresses, which I, it was actually one of the first things I showed you guys when I did sneak previews on my Instagram because I think, I mean, I was torn between the denim and this brown slip dress because I just think it's so, so nice. So this actually also comes on the website in a standard length. I think it's petite and tall as well, but don't quote me on that. I know it comes in the tall length, so if you're worried about it being too short, I'm actually just wearing the standard one though. I love wearing this with like some really structured, like chic sort of style sunglasses. I just think it works so well for the kind of, kind of got like a Parisian feel, I think. I love the lace detail across the top. I just think it's so, so nice. So it's got adjustable straps and I am wearing it quite far down. So you can almost like, bit of like nipple almost poking through. But if you're not comfortable about it, you can pull it up. You don't have to wear it as low as I am. And you can obviously adjust the straps so they're like a lot tighter so that you can actually wear it done up. So also in the collection, we've got some really simple racer sort of style top body suits. And then these are the denim shorts, but in this like cream denim. So I thought I'd just put these two on together because I think the tones of this work so nicely. I've actually got a little cream bag here 
that if I was to be going out right now, I think I would put on something like this and, and keep it all along the sort of similar tone palette. Um, but as you can see, these actually, so I'll just show you, so these denim shorts are, as I said, exactly the same, but I'm wearing these in the eight. So there's a little bit less movement around my waist, but they sort of, then they just give a little bit more of a fitted look. Um, and then the, the bodysuit also comes in this amazing sort of like plum, purpley pink color. But this is obviously, of course, the brown color one. So there we go, guys. That is my little misguided try on from my new collection with them. I will, of course, link everything below and the sizes that I'm wearing in case you missed any of that. But I really hope that you guys like the collection. And if you have got anything from it, thank you so much for supporting me because it means the absolute world. Um, but also let me know below what you did get because I always find it so interesting to find out like what people's favorites are from the collection so this afternoon it's friday today um and i've had honestly just the craziest week um we i say we because it's me and becky so i needed to get away and shoot the sla beachwear on myself and get some content of it but obviously as, as you guys are well aware um, traveling at the moment is just such a nightmare and the only place that's on the greenest currently that's kind of worthwhile going to is croatia so we booked to go to Croatia, and we are going, but all the flights basically booked up so quickly, and the one that we wanted to go on wasn't available, so we're having to leave very, very early on Sunday morning, which is fine, but it just means I don't have Sunday now to get myself ready for this shoot, um, and I've had, honestly, just the busiest week. It's just kind of like... Is a little bit stressful should we say because i'm thinking how the hell can i fit all this in on top of everything else um i'm supposed to be going out for a brunch tomorrow which i really want to go to but i really shouldn't you know like i'm such a what's the word like i'm a bit of a people pleaser in the sense where like i don't like saying no to people i hate being a flake i hate letting people down and this has been in the diary for such a long time and i don't want to be that person that like says i can't come but I'm on my own worst enemy because then it's making life a hell of a lot more stressful for me because I'm having to get basically two days worth work of two days worth of work done in one afternoon. Um because obviously now we're leaving on Sunday morning so early. How disgusting our flight times at 6.10, which means I have to be at the airport at 4.10. I don't think I've had a flight that early in so long. Anyway, so it's a very last minute trip. It's been thrown together, as I say, lastminute.com. I will, of course, vlog it, and, but don't expect some unbelievably insane travel vlog because it's had very little planning, shall we say. Anyway, so on that note, I really should shut up and actually do some of the work that I need to get done, like pack and make sure I've got everything in the suitcase that I need. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I honestly feel like it's just an impossibility to pack light. I mean, I know I'm going for a photo shoot, so I'm taking literally everything possible. But honestly, I know when I get there, my suitcases are always so heavy and they look at me like with disgust at how heavy my suitcases are. Also, look, the SLA tote bag is finally finished. We have had an absolute, you would not believe, honestly, the stress that we've had <laughs> trying to get this tote bag right. Um, it's, there's been, th we've honestly been trying to get this right since about March. That that's why there's been such a delay on it. But I'm literally obsessed with it. It's such a good size. Um, there's a few little tweaks that the production will actually have, like the piping, the stitching's like very sample stitching, I always call it. So it's not like 100% it needs to be thicker. But for me, for a sample, it's fine. So I'm really excited for um, those to go live. Also, that pink thing that you can see. I don't know if you remember in my Ibiza and Mallorca vlog, I was wearing a green set. It's also coming in pink. It's a dream. Um, what else have we got? Oh, yeah. These, I mean, this is an SLA, but how amazing is this beach bag? It's from Zara, and I'm literally obsessed with it. I actually got as well. Where are they? I'm wearing them today. I'm going out for a brunch, but I got these shoes, which I thought will look really cute with this. I'm going to wear it with the white SLA beach set styled up like that. I think that'll look really cute, but I just thought I'd show you that beach bag while I'm sort of packing. These heels as well, how amazing are these? Public Desire, I got them from ASOS, but I'm literally in love with the color of them. They're insane, so I'm excited to take those. But yeah, apart from that, it's basically just like a, a big suitcase full of all SLA stuff. 
Um, oh, this is cute, actually. I'll show you guys this. Look, this is another beach bag I got from Zara. I thought it was so nice. It's kind of different. I've not really seen one like that before. So I thought that will come in handy. And then what else is in here? Oh, yeah. Also, let's talk about Javiana's having a complete re reboot. Why have they suddenly gotten so good that they do these, like, platform sort of style flip-flops? Which, also, I'm living for just a flip-flop at the moment. I think they're so cute to wear. Um, so I got them in this colour and also, like, a blue colour. And they're just obviously great holiday shoes. They do them in so many colours. I really want the green, but it was sold out. So I've put like a tell me when it's in stock vibe. So that was what I was doing all of yesterday. I feel like my bedroom is now in typical packing state. If you can pack and it not look like that, that's an absolute skill. Literally, it's just like stuff everywhere. It's so annoying. I honestly wish I was better at organising and packing and all that sort of stuff, but it just doesn't happen. Oh, and then just quickly, obviously, you know, I've got to think about airport tyre. So, obviously, the blue self-love jumper we did with just the joggers, but we are launching sweatshorts to match. These will actually be going live on Sunday, which is when this vlog is obviously hopefully going live. Fingers crossed as long as I get it all done in time. Um, but, yes, yeah, so we've now got sweatshorts to match. I need to steam those. I think I'm going to wear them on the plane tomorrow morning. So it is Saturday today, and as I said yesterday, um, I am going for this brunch. I've decided to just do it, but I'm going to not drink and come back early to try and get all the stuff done that I need to do before I leave. So let's just hope that goes to plan, honestly. I just feel like if I drink, I'm the sort of person where I have like one drink and then just be like, oh, well, it can't hurt, you know, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll just get it all done and when I come home and then I'll be really drunk and it just will, will basically not go to plan. So anyway, so I'm gonna end this vlog here so I've got time to finish it, edit it and put it up. Apologies that it's not maybe as long as I would have liked it to have been this week. It's just, as I said, it's been a crazy week. I will, of course, vlog Croatia, but as I said, don't, please don't be expecting some amazing travel vlog because it's honestly, I feel like... I feel like I'm just doing it so last minute, um, but I will of course take you guys with us anyway I'm going with Becky as I said so and we are gonna do some cool stuff like I want to go to like all the different beaches and stuff um, And like beach clubs and all that kind of thing. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys